Okay, welcome everyone to the map pool showcase for 6 of 23 uh, qualifiers. I'm gonna be your commentator, uh, Shirox. You probably know me from the stream that happened right now. And I'm gonna be joined by Sedai as well. Uh, hello. Yep. So we'll be going through qualifiers map pool and hopefully uh, we'll be seeing some banger maps. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, it is a video. Shit. Uh, for this number one, we have a very standard number one, fairly consistent aim, a little bit of burst here and there, but mostly an aim map. Also, Trinity Bio song, so banger. <laughs> um, oh, God. Seems like a very good competition of a lot of, a lot of uh, consistency factors. We have uh, burst ripples, a bit of sharp angles. Game spacings. Yeah, this is a little bit of an older map, so I think it's slightly awkward for some people. Uh, but that's gonna be it. It's a fairly standard Nomad 1 overall. A uh, very aim focused compared to some other Nomad 1s in this rank range. Mm -hmm. For Nomad 2, we have our first custom of the tournament. And the next map. Interesting. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we see a little bit of the control element. The stream sections and very long streams. Yeah, this has quite Actually. long streams for the throw rating, and it also has, uh, I don't think it's shown on the video, but it has one tricky section uh, with some quads, which is really awkward to tap. Uh, other than that, it's just very stamina heavy. So, yeah. Yeah, from what I can tell, a lot of finger throw, a lot of stamina focus, and like to a lot of, I say, small consistency focus as well. It's a uh, very it's gonna be very difficult to hit those patterns even not very used to it. Ooh, cut streams. No mod 3. Yep, this is a very pretty... long yeah. map, I have a bad. A uh, very standard normal 3, a little bit more snappy than your usual normal 3 around. And a little bit less as well, but fairly standard overall. If you're an old player, this should be quite comfortable. Yeah, a lot of very snappy angles. Not so much of happening, but it's very in oriented, let's say. Yep, it does require some finger control though. Uh, Amy, for this, we have a lot of aim control. Uh, it does have a little bit of tapping as well, but I think, I think the main thing that's gonna catch people off guard about this are the sliders and especially slider accuracy and slider health, uh, slider ends. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep, these sections are really easy to drop back on. Especially when you're not used to any kind of a slider heavy pattern, so it's very easy to slide break on these and drop a lot of hundreds as well. It seems. Honestly, it's a very interesting map actually. Why do we have a hidden one? A Beatrice! Yep, this is not hidden one, this is number 5. Uh, oh, this and is yeah, this is a Yeah, this is a little bit of a rhythm map. Uh, some speedier sections. A little bit of a mix between those two. Uh, but it's gonna be quite comfortable if you're good at the skill sets you usually need for a rhythm map. Ri uh, obviously, rhythm, speed, and aim control or alt stuff. If you're good at that kind of stuff, you can probably do well on this. Is there really this map is also not easy as well. It's a jack, the hidden one. Yep, uh, this hidden one, the main thing you want to look out for is one third triple slot from at some points during the map, especially uh, something like those. And especially the aim does get very, very dense uh, with 200 BPM A or 9 at some points. Also, high uh, stat lord. And yep, have fun in 6 of a seat. This thing has. Well, you have a hidden too, though. I see. That's the question. 
Is it going to be a tab in here? heading to? That's what I'm concerned about. Tint is. I think. Uh, oh. Some of you might be familiar with this mod, actually. This is quite a bit of reading and some level of. Like. I don't know how to say it, but it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a, a very standard rhythm map. I've, uh, not rhythm, reading, I mean, map. I think it's, it's very awkward to play this one, in fact. There's a lot of awkward aim sections. Yeah. The thing that keeps you from actually reading this map properly a lot of the time is that the rhythm is quite awkward for the for these patterns. Yeah. A lot of the time you'll tap earlier or later. Our when we have the most unique map of the pool, at least in terms of slot, because this is much more of a light deck map than you usually see in Hard Rock 1 for this rank range. Oh, Hard so Rock. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, not a technical map, isn't it, for Hard Rock 1 slot. This is, this is pretty difficult. Yep. Uh, this is probably one of the harder maps in the pool. I do agree with that. Yeah, I would imagine. The top knight, a kid, okay. Yeah. I mean, Hard Rock 1 does have quite a lot of fact testing, so we went for something much more aim focused on Hard Rock 2. So, yes, this should be comfortable for precision players out there, I think. Uh, it has some rather awkward aim sections, but other than that, it's. Yeah, you just... see the change in spacings. Yeah. Oh my, okay. Right, what do you have a DT bot then? Uh, you'll see, but it's just a consistency map. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, it seems to be that it's a... Looks like a hybrid map to me. There's a lot of bursts, there's some jumps, not a lot of it. This is more focused on... Yeah. The build both, I guess. It's just a lot of jumps with some triples in there. From what I remember. It, uh, this is the worst uh, section of the map. One thing is that you can really easily uh, lose your aim control on those triples. Oh, oh is this a custom map? This is a spi uh, no, this is just uh, an edit of, an, of a locked map. Oh shit, alright. To increase OD because the original OD was really low. Anyway, this is a little bit of a speed map, you'll see in a little bit, but this does have a lot of 230 BPM worst. So yeah, it's not quite as easy to mash as you would usually find in this star writing for uh, speed. It does, yeah. it is still mashable, but it's quite a bit harder, so... Uh, keep a lookout for that, and if you're a speed player, I hope you have fun with that map, and if, I hope in general you have fun with this pool, so yep. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next pool showcase. Good luck to all the teams qualifying.